Great, we have a dog. Great. I can show one. Okay. okay, so this, okay, roach, it's spelled like the, like the like cockroach, R-O-A-C-H. So this part right here on the dog, this muscle, is loin. You probably know it because you, if you eat meat, there's pork loin. There's loin out there, and this is the same part on the pork as it is on the dog, from last rib to the rear assembly, this muscle. So roach back means slight rise over the loin. So and if you look, I see that this is called a level top line. It's straight from. If you hold him here, I will hold him. Okay. <laughs> if you look at my hand here and my hand here, it's level. They're level. See, it's one level line from here to here. It's straight. This would be roached. Mm -hmm. See? So you see a rise yeah, over move. the loin. Now you can see. If he was naturally built like yeah. this with this arch, that's called a roach back. And that's considered a fault in many breeds. But there are some breeds where they are supposed to have a slight roach. Bedlington being one of them. Bedlington Dandy being one of them. Dandy Dinmont being Dinmont. another one. Yep. And all your side hounds. Yes. Whippets, greyhounds, they should have that roach. And the reason why they have that roach is because when they are running at great speeds and they're flying through the air and they tuck their legs under them, it's almost like their body folds in half so their back legs can come forward and catapult them you know, another six feet. It's for their range of motion. Yeah, yeah range of motion.